So here we have a solid state fan control and this little wire here is marked as antenna. So I'm assuming this is one of the ones that can uh, use a remote with it. And uh, I picked it up for a dollar just to see if there's anything exciting or what they even do in here. But I'm sure it's incredibly simple. So let's tear it open. Oh, it's also a unit that has dip switches, so that also makes me think that it's a radio one, so you can set your channel that way. Take the cover off here. Alrighty. And so here we are. We can see that here is our little stock wireless module and probably nothing else exciting to it. HT48RO6A-1. So this is just a little microcontroller and this is the actual the E squared prom for it. There's those dip switches again. Just some miscellaneous protection and these caps for AC. There's just a transistor, some diodes, and some missed caps over here, probably to make some sort of power something or another. Big old resistor and more input protection, and nothing much else exciting. It's an ST part on here. The whole little board is just all surface mount components. There's a little inductor on the other side. Another inductor over here. All of these that are glued together are triacs that are designed for AC inductive loads. And this is another triac designed to be used for turning AC on and off. So that's why it gets so hot. And I'm too lazy to look up that part. So I forcibly removed this part by just bending it so we can flip it over and get kind of lost in our mind here. And, oh, oh fail. I'll leave this in because, oh, fail. And so we got this on this side and, um, and there's not much to it. There's just a few probably transistors or diodes. I don't think there's markings, no. So there's just a few little parts and then the miscellaneous resistors and so on miscellaneous resistors and so on on here. Let's see if we can... Uh, there's the little parts there with no indicator and not going to spend time to figure it out. Don't know what specific it is. And just, uh, and just a few resistors along the, the side with the micro and its EEPROM. And over on the front end, just a few more little passives. There, so that's basically it. So that's the little unit. I don't really know what I could use it for as is, but I could probably. And so on here, it was manufactured in December of 06. And a lot of these parts, uh, their data sheets are made in 06. Uh, I don't really see the there's too many components really blocking the uh, date codes, but they can probably be seen in the video, maybe. Yeah. So besides that, it's just an interesting little board.